is the YouTube interview. Today with Zach Braff talking about the high cost of living having its premiere at the Toronto International Film Festival. Congratulations on the film. Thank you very much. You know, this is a, a movie about uh, relationships, trying to form a relationship. And uh, before we start talking about the movie specifically, I think it's so great that you brought your dad here <laughs> to the festival. Yeah. It's sort of, it, tell me a little bit about sort of that, bringing him here, having him see your work, seeing him, having him see what you do. Well, my dad way. loves movies and yeah. uh, he loves uh, of, uh, being a part of uh, the film festival vibe. And yeah. uh, I don't think he's ever come on a a junket. Uh, <laughs> I think <laughs> he's he's he, most people find a junket boring, but my father's uh, my father's having fun. So. Right. Well, he doesn't have to sit there and answer the same right, questions right, over right. and over <laughs> and over yeah. again. We should make him do that. <laughs> <laughs> um, tell me a little bit about the high cost of living. How you became involved in it? I just love the script. I mean, I I, I didn't. It was a tiny budget movie. We mm -hmm. did it for no money. I, I didn't care. I just I wanted to be a part of it. I, I I was honored that they were thinking of me to play such a complex character. Um, and I, I would like to show people that I'm not just uh, a, a broad comedy mm -hmm. guy and, and, and that I can do lots of different things. And I want to challenge myself to do lots of different things. So, Do you feel kind of defined somehow by the television work or no? No, I think thankfully because of Garden State and The Last Kiss and, mm -hmm. and, uh, and the theater that I've done in New York, um, uh, I have a, I'm having an easier time um, right. uh, showing people that I have other sides to myself. But, you know, the majority of the people who don't know everything I've done right. n obviously know me as the guy I did a broad comedy uh, for nine years on, yeah. on Scrubs. Right. Let's talk about Henry. Henry is a guy who, in my estimation, Henry, for the people who haven't seen the film yet, which is a lot of people so far, it's just at the festival, uh, is your character in the film. Um, something awful happens in his life, uh, he's driving while drunk, and his, there's a hit and run involved. I don't want to give away too much, but yeah. my take on him was that he's a good guy, sort of ultimately, but he's made a horrible mistake that is going to cloud the rest of his life. Yeah. And he tries to make it better, but he doesn't know how. Yeah, uh, and I, th I think everyone can relate to something in their life mm -hmm. where they really regret something that's happened. and. They wish they could hit the rewind button yeah, and go, yeah. how could I have been so effing stupid? Right. And um, Now, obviously, most people don't have it on the level of, of, of a hit and run right. uh, where there's a death involved. Uh, but um, but I, I think that we can all relate uh, as human beings to making stupid, stupid decisions at times. And, and that's where I, that was my access to it, was saying, he's not a bad guy. He's a, he's a guy who's kind of painted himself into a corner. He's mm -hmm. a little... He's tangled up in his own circumstances and not sure how to get out. Right. And and but in hitting rock bottom, he he finds uh, a new chapter of his life. Well, I guess you know it's it's such a cliche, but there's nowhere to go but up. Yeah, yeah. There really for this character, there really is nowhere yeah. to go but up. And uh, and it, you know because it because it is an art film and and, and it's and it's not trying to hit any st studio movie mm -hmm. rules about about how to how to be a film. It, it doesn't all get cleaned up and nice right. and happy in the end. It is, it's, it's, it's very true to life, I think, in that not all is better and solved. Right. But you do see, it's, it's just a tiny glimmer into the window of these people's lives for a couple weeks. Right. When you create a character like Henry, uh, do you create a whole story for him? Like, what was Henry doing le in the days leading up to this horrible accident? I, I'm not. I, or does I, that I, matter to you? Well, I, I, I suppose I'd sound cooler if I say, yeah, I, I did all sorts of research <laughs> on, Henry, on Henry's backstory. I'm not really that that kind of actor. I I, I do think of uh, each time you start a new scene, you want to think about where has he just come from, where is right. he going. Um, that's important, especially when you're shooting out of order. Like, yeah. what's just happened to me two right. seconds ago? Right. Um, but I do know that he's a guy who um, we did talk a little bit about. He's a guy who came up to Canada maybe followed a girl up there mm -hmm. or for some reason came up and and then kind of uh, a visa ran out and and is now living in Montreal illegally and and so he, he can't really get work and mm -hmm. that's one of the reasons he turns to dealing prescription drugs yeah. is he can't get a, a legal job anywhere so this particular guy finds a way to make money selling prescriptions prescription medicine mm -hmm. and shooting in Montreal I mean the, 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 there's a lot of movies shot there yeah. these days and every time I talk to someone who's shot in Montreal they come back going it is one of the great cities of North America it is a truly unique city 
in not only Canada, but I think in North America. I love Montreal. I've yeah. been there two times. Yeah. I do recommend shooting in the warmer months. <laughs> yeah, don't. if anyone offers you a script that's set in February in Montreal. I said to yeah. my, my, uh, my friend the other day, like, Montreal in the winter, it's going to have to be Scorsese or someone, because <laughs> uh, I am not doing it again. But I love the city. When yeah. we made Last Kiss there, it was yeah. in, the, in the spring, I believe, and... Uh, it's just wonderful. I mean, you, f you, you feel like you're in Europe. Yeah. I mean, uh, the people are wonderful, and uh, the food is amazing, and uh, the architecture, and I, I'm, I'm a big fan of, of Montreal. Yeah, yeah. What do you want people to take away from the high cost of living? I mean, you know, I wasn't sure how I felt about Henry by the end of the movie, mm -hmm. and I think that's okay. You yeah. know, I don't think that this is the kind of movie that's gonna have a definitive at the end of it, yeah. you know? Um, and I wasn't sure, but I, I, I I, I kind of I liked him more than I didn't like him, yeah. and I wasn't I was a little bit conflicted about that even well, because of what he's done. What right? you're saying is is probably the highest comment you can pay a, a, a quote unquote art movie is right. that the director can allow the protagonist to not be the most well liked person. Right. Right. Uh, yeah, he doesn't make the best choices. Yeah. He's he's very selfish, and uh, um, but we see, hopefully, if I pulled it off right, the right. glimmer of a good person in there. and Because um, as an actor, you can't judge him at all, right? I mean, you can't really judge the character. You just sort of have to accept that he is what he is. Yeah, and you're but I love, I, as a film goer, I love a flawed protagonist. Right. I, that's so friggin' refreshing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we can't, you know, in a studio movie, it has to be like, oh, you know, and it, especially in TV. I mean, yeah. where I've been, you, you, you can, very rarely can you have a, a protagonist uh, where the audience doesn't really like them, right? And uh, to al to allow this character to have scenes where, um, he, you know, where where the chunk of the audience will not like him uh, is is good. I mean, I mean, the Last Kiss too, which is a yeah. movie where where for a big chunk of the yeah. movie the audience hated me. And it's, but uh, that's interesting to me. That's yeah. real life, and 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 I, and I like that. I hope to see more of it from you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. So much. Yeah, I appreciate it.